Hello everyone, Miss Fisher here. I am here to show you three different mediums that you can use for your final graffiti piece. Before you get to making your background like this, I want you to practice using colored pencil with a colorless blender, Prisma markers with a colorless blender, and chalk pastel. Each are very different and they give you different effects. So the first one I'm gonna show you is colored pencil. Please remember that colored pencils are made out of wax. They do not mix with chalk pastel, which is chalky. However, you can mix wax colored pencil with Prismacolor markers. And that's a whole nother story that I will show you later. So what you're gonna do is open up your sketchbook to two white pages. On the left, you're gonna write color gradients, colored pencil with colorless blender, Prismacolor markers with colorless blender and chalk pastel. You're going to write the same thing over here and make sure it's somewhat evenly spaced. Then you're going to choose a letter that you would like to practice. I prefer that you choose the same letter for all of your practice. Um, sketch light until it's right and then you're going to outline it. Now notice how I used black to outline mine. You don't have to use black. You can use a dark blue or purple or any color that you're gonna to use to incorporate in your design. So I could have used a dark pink to outline this. It's completely up to you. I like to use black because it really makes it pop. So once you sketch light, take whatever you're gonna to use to outline it and take your time, make sure your hand is relaxed. And you're gonna trace over those lines. Remember, it doesn't have to be black. You choose your color scheme and your outline color will depend on your color scheme and the effect you're going for. Once it's outlined, erase your pencil lines. And as you can see, I have my colors lined up right here. So I'm gonna go from pink to magenta and I need a little bit of white. So I want you to practice doing your gradients on the left side first. So what I'm doing is making directional marks. I'm increasing my pressure, pr pressing hard, and then overlapping like this. I'm gonna take a little white. And then this is called a colorless blender. This is fantastic because it really burnishes your color, which makes the color shiny, and it blends at the same time. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with my blues. I'm going from turquoise to deep blue. Medium pressure. Hard pressure to medium, overlapping it. Then I'm gonna take a little white, and then my colorless blender. and then a little more turquoise again over that white to get a really light turquoise. So once you've practiced over here, then you're gonna start applying your color here. I'm not gonna finish the whole thing because that will make the video too long. So I'm just gonna do this section up here. So I'm starting with the pink and what I'm doing is really lightly, I'm applying it in this kind of circular motion. And I'm coming over to here, and then I'm going back. Then I'm gonna switch to my magenta, and I'm pressing harder from here. And I'm staying focused so I can stay inside of those lines. And now I'm going to ease up on my pressure to overlap over this lighter pink. And if you look closely, you can see it's a little fuzzy. It's not smooth like this. The way I get it smooth is by using the colorless blender, which is going to burnish it. And look at what's happening. It's smoothing out. It's becoming brighter and more vivid. It's blending it. So 
So I'm getting a nice gradient there. Okay, and I would do the same thing for the entire section. I'm going to show you a little bit of the blue right here. So for these, I went from turquoise to the deep blue. And then colorless blender to get it nice and shiny. Once you've done the whole letter, you're going to add your bumps and highlights with white or any color that you choose. So I've got a paint pen and a gel pen. For this little section right here, I'm going to use the gel pen. And then for this part, using the paint pen, remember you got to shake it and pump it to get it to work. I'm going over this to add my highlight. If I want to bring that to a point, I'm going to switch it to the gel pen. Okay, and that's how you're going to practice using colored pencil to make your gradients and to practice adding color to a letter. Good luck.